Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to somewhere in Maryland with a, uh, well, potentially a frauditor who is quite paranoid, who believes the uh, police are following him for whatever reason. And, uh, well, he uh, drives around in circles in the middle of the night uh, trying to prove his point. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So I just wanted to show y'all... I'm sitting right here on the side of the road by the quick shop. That car you just seen was a state trooper, right? I'm just sitting here. We're trying to get some directions, but he went over there and popped. Oh, how suspicious he parked over there. Oh, wow. It's not like every other police officer who parks on the side of the road to, uh, well, file a report or something like that throughout their day. Let's see if he gonna pull me over, y'all. We gonna sit here for a minute. He went up there and parked somewhere. <laughs> now, I remind y'all, right? I just had my people's car, right? And I was driving around and I drove past two state police. I, I drove past three police, period. Two of them was state troopers. One of them was in a mock car and one of them was in an a, a unmarked car. It was a burgundy truck, right? The other state trooper was in a mock uh, patrol truck or whatever, right? I rode past uh, the sheriff station. It was a sheriff sitting right there. I was in my girl car. But now that I'm in my car, you can see the harassment, right? Now the police just sit, sat right there, whatever. Okay, so for what I'm hearing right now, uh, you were driving somebody else's car a little while ago, passed by several officers, but you were left alone. And now that you're sitting here in a different car, all of a sudden uh, there's an officer over there who is uh, parked and uh, is bothering you. Um, okay, Maybe you should go visit your local mental health institution to determine whether or not you're overly paranoid at this point. He went up there and parked somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where he went. He went back there somewhere. I don't know where it was at. You see a white car just went past a Tesla, right? I'm going to pull off and I got a feeling they're going to mess with me. But I'm going to pull off and I'm going to see y'all. He followed me. I didn't even know I was recording, y'all. But the man following me. I'm pulling into the 7-Eleven. He tried to keep going. I see a pattern beginning to develop here. Uh, you're sitting in one particular spot and just looking around to see if anybody's following you. And when you think they are, you go into some other spot and park there. Well, is it any wonder why uh, you think you're being followed? Because you know what? I would, If I were a cop, I would see that activity and be like, what the hell is this guy up to anyway? Especially this late at night. Uh, I mean, the crazies tend to come out at night anyway, so it would only be natural for the officers to be on high alert for uh, the uh, crazy people. <coughs> he kept going, but he followed me, y'all. Uh... Look. Y'all, look. That's the state trooper right there, y'all. We 
we're gonna see where it's gonna go. I knew he was geeking to pull me over. <laughs> I knew he was geeking. He he trying to wait for me to see if I'm gonna make a traffic infraction or whatever so he could pull me over. Well, you are essentially driving in circles around several businesses in the middle of the night, uh, which tends to look like suspicious activity as you're possibly casing a joint in certain scenarios, which is uh, what a lot of people look for in criminal activity. So you being pulled over in this case is essentially a self-fulfilling prophecy considering how stupid you're acting at this point. And I'm about to go right back to the same spot that I was and chill right there, y'all. I'm gonna go right back to the same spot. I'm gonna see if I'm still recording. Going back to the exact same spot. So yeah, essentially you're driving in circles, uh, which does make you look suspicious. So yeah, that pretty much confirms you're an idiot. gonna go right back to the same spot it's the same state trooper i don't know if it if it's if it's holder or not but it's a state trooper now i want to see why they uh mess with me but he kept going <laughs> he kept going but I'm going to sit right here and see if he come back past, y'all. If he come back past, y'all already know what it is. Yeah, if he comes back by, he's just making sure that if you're all right or not. Because, well, you are driving in circles, you damn moron. Which could indicate a great number of things other than uh, you casing a joint. You might be, uh, well... A little bit intoxicated, maybe. I mean, that could be it. So he may want to check up on you, make sure you're all right. You never know, because there's a lot of things that people go through. Make sure my door locked. Y'all can see that this is peer harassment. Peer harassment, y'all. I do not do nothing. I don't commit any type of crimes or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here. I'm minding my business. I'm being a father. You know what I'm saying? Something I never had. I'm being a father. You know what I'm saying? Got a great... Look, look, look. Look, I'm being a great father. Uh, if you were a great father, you would probably be home right now uh, looking after your child or children instead of being out here uh, trying to antagonize the cops into a confrontation, dude. Because this, at this point, is you just trying to provoke a response out of the cops by acting paranoid and driving in circles. So, not exactly father of the year material right here. Look who behind me. Look who behind me, y'all. Hey, man, how's it going? Everything all right? Hey, what's up? Just checking on you. Saw you driving around in a circle, parked over here. You, everything good? You check on everybody like that? Yeah, when it's, it's a little suspicious, so I just wanted to make sure everything's all right. Okay, what crime have I committed? Nothing. I'm just checking on you. That's okay, why, why are you checking on me when it's... Because you just 50, parked here 50, 50, 50 other people out here on the streets. Why are you uh, messing with me? You're the only out here. I'm just checking. Are you all it's, right? It's people driving up and down Great Mills Road, but you sit here and you're going to pull up on me. 
Well, dude, you are driving around in circles, acting all suspicious, and that's exactly what police officers are trained to do. Look for people who are doing suspicious things and uh, take care of issues before they occur. Or after they occur, whichever comes first. So don't you get it? Your suspicious activity led to them following you, which ended up uh, making you even more paranoid and created a self-fulfilling prophecy saying that uh, you would get pulled over because of all this other BS. So, dude, it's all your fault anyway. Yeah, because you're driving around in circles. How I'm driving around in circles? Because I just saw you. You pulled out of here, you went down that way, you went around in a circle, and you parked right back here. I mean, it's oh. one thirty in the morning. Okay, why are you following me? Are you all right? That's all I'm asking. Why are you following me? I'm. It's, it's suspicious. That's what I'm saying. What, what crime have I committed? Nobody's saying you committed. Okay crime. then. So why the you. why you why the fuck is you fucking with me? Okay. If you're good. To fuck go, away from my go. car, bitch. Right. Y'all see what I'm talking about? Hey, what's your name and badge number? Who? Trooper Baden. Yes, sir. Seven five what? Look at the harassment, y'all. From Merlin Finest. You don't see harassment here, dude. I see a concerned officer who was a little bit suspicious of your activities going on out there, considering you were doing circles around the area, and he decided to check up on you to make sure you were okay. I ain't fucking with nobody. This man har harassing me. I'm driving around in circles because your bitch ass follow me. For what? Y'all look at him. Look where I'm parked at, y'all. On the side of a road. A public road at that. This is a public road. Let me show y'all. This is a public road. Well, I'm just going to end the video right here, folks, because you know what? He spends almost the next 10 minutes on a paranoid, delusional rant, even though it's quite clear that from the video itself that he created, like I said, a self-fulfilling prophecy where he knew he was going to get pulled over for suspicious activity. Driving around in circles, it's not like you're not going to get noticed, dude. You're going to get pulled over for doing that and uh, checked on to see if, uh, well, if you're all right. Essentially, that officer was doing his job and, well... You were very much acting out of the ordinary on your part, so it's an un understandable reaction, dude. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.